SCP-834 Object Class Anomalous Updated Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-834 is to remain locked in Containment Locker Alpha-12. When being tested, D-Class upon which 834 is used are to be kept in a standard containment cell for the duration of testing, and are exempt from monthly terminations until effects can be ascertained. Description SCP-834 is a set of four markers, black, red, yellow, and blue. Each marker bears only a The Factory logo and no other distinguishing characteristics. The only effect of these markers is that they write permanently on human skin, resulting in tattoo-like markings. Testing has proven the ink sinks below the surface of the skin and is only removable via laser dermabrasion or similar tattoo removal procedures. See Addendum for updated details. Addendum 1 on February 20, 2000, junior staff researchers and craft appropriated SCP-834 under the pretense of testing it further, but in actuality to use it on themselves. When discovered, a decision was made by O5-13 to have the item removed to a more secure area, as well as to demote the researchers to janitorial staff for three weeks. Dr. L had been given a band of barbed wire around his wrist, while researcher Qu opted for a depiction of reptilian scales on his chest to, in his words, reveal my inner dragon. Both researchers are currently denied access to casual testing of any SCPs. Note. If and if they are only anonymous, SCPs are not toys. Site Supervisor Not. Addendum 2. On August 2000, screams were heard from Dr. L office. Security investigating found Dr. L on the floor of his office, bleeding heavily from self-inflicted wounds at his wrist. Dr. L claimed the wounds were inflicted when he tried to remove the tattoo after it began constricting upon his wrist. Medical investigation showed the only damage was that inflicted by Dr. L digging at his skin with his own fingers. There was no sign of his tattoo. Shortly after, acting on orders of the site director, a security team broke down the door of researcher living quarters after he failed to answer his personal phone and site pages. Researcher corpse was found in his bathroom. His chest burst open from the inside, as if by a great pressure. Further medical investigation revealed all the major organs of his chest were missing, but no other damage. A trail of bloody claw prints led to the shower drain, which had been ripped away. A full exploration and cleaning of the site's drainage and sewer system turned up nothing unusual.